Improving the efficiency of the sales funnel should be one of a company's top goals if it wants to turn cold prospects into hot leads and improve sales performance. It makes sense. A good sales funnel gives salespeople important information about the needs, challenges, and decision-making process of their potential customers. Without good software to manage your sales funnel, it's hard to turn leads into sales and increase revenue over time. In this video, you'll learn what a good sales funnel looks like and how to build and run one for your team. How does a sales funnel work? A sales funnel is a picture of the path your prospect takes from the first time they talk to you until they buy something. It lets your sales team know where they need to follow up or change the sales process because leads are dropping out. The definition of a sales funnel says that it works like a funnel, which means that it is widest at the top and narrowest at the bottom. At each stage of the funnel, qualified prospects move on to the next stage, while prospects who aren't a good fit for what you offer fall out. The stages of a customer's journey, which can be broken up into three parts, top, middle, and bottom, are directly linked to a sales funnel. The structure of the sales funnel shows the steps that prospects take. Untouched greater than made contact, leads, greater than qualified greater than presented proposal, greater than negotiated greater than one. Studying your sales funnel can help you figure out where you're going wrong when you're prospecting, where your leads are falling off, and what made your current customers go all the way through the sales funnel. Optimizing your sales funnel can help you reach your sales goals right away and in the long run. Top salespeople know every step of their sales funnel by heart, from making cold calls to closing the deal. This helps in two important ways. They can meet the most important needs of the customer and send the right message at the right time. They can make their sales process bigger and predict their sales and income so that they can reach their goals. In other words, a well-defined sales funnel improves both the customer's journey and the company's performance. To fully answer the question, what is a sales funnel? We need to look at the different steps of the funnel. Even though each company has its own way of managing and naming the sales process and customer touch points, they are usually divided into three stages. 1. Awareness and discovery at the top of the sales funnel. Your potential customers find your business when they are looking for answers to a question or problem they have at the beginning of their journey. They may have gotten a cold call from a salesperson on your team, or they may have found your website or contact information on their own. At this point, they are still trying to figure out what their challenge is. As they try to explain their problem, they have a lot of questions and are looking for a reliable source of information. Here are some examples of the kinds of questions they might ask about certain industries. A customer service program. Standards for the customer service industry. A mattress store. Why does my back hurt the next day after I sleep? Someone who sells electricity. An average bill for electricity. At the top of the sales funnel, your prospect wants to be sure that your solution is the best one for their problem. From a digital marketing point of view, Potential customers want content that is easy to find and will help them learn about things that are important to them. This could be blog posts, videos, or even quizzes. This part of the process is called generating leads. At this stage, your prospects who were still untouched become contact-made prospects. They are now your leads, to be more specific. The next step is for you, as the sales rep, to ask the right questions and qualify your leads to make sure they are the right customers. 2. Researching Solutions, the middle of the sales funnel. At this point, you've narrowed down your prospects, and those who are still in the funnel should be ideal customers. Questions in the middle of the funnel are no longer general because your prospects have now named and defined their problem. Using the same industries as in the last section, here are some questions they might have. How do you give good phone customer service? How do I choose the best condition mattress? How to break a power bill down? Or how to choose a power company? In the middle of the sales funnel, the person you're trying to sell to is learning more about the problem. At this point, they might not be evaluating specific companies and their products or services as solution providers. Instead, they look for the different kinds of solutions they can use. In the first case, they haven't decided if they will buy software for in-house support teams or outsource support completely. 
In the next example, they aren't sure if they just need a mattress pad or if they should buy a new mattress. Your leads become qualified as you talk to them and ask them questions to figure out if your offer is the right solution for their problem. At this stage, your leads are most interested in detailed guides, checklists that compare things, and lists of pros and cons. These things would make it easy for the person making the decision to get to the next step. 3. Making an informed purchase decision at the end of the sales process. Lastly, the bottom of your funnel is when your leads know everything about their problem, the best type of solution for them, and are ready to choose the provider to buy this solution from. Because of this, their questions and concerns at this stage focus on the vendor and become more specific, like the bottom of a funnel. So, both their online searches and the questions they might ask you might look something like this. Does Provider 1 have better features in their support software than Provider 2? Who has the longest and most comprehensive mattress warranty? How do the contracts for electricity work with Provider 1 and Provider 2? At this point, long-tail SEO keywords can help users find information that helps them make a decision that fits their exact needs, specific problems, and budget. Best content for the bottom of the funnel includes pages with answers to frequently asked questions, videos about product features, live demos, and side-by-side -side comparisons of the features of competing products. These will help them feel more confident in your offer as they see how well it fits their needs. This is when your qualified leads go through the sales proposal and negotiation stages. If all goes well, you'll get their business at the end of these steps. Let's look at some examples of sales funnels to help answer the earlier question. How does a sales funnel work? They'll show how a salesperson can guide a prospect from the time they become a lead until they make a purchase by figuring out what their biggest problems are and giving them the right answers at the right time. One Twilio. Twilio offers Communication APS, a service that developers can use to add voice calling and text messaging to a program or product. They know how important it is to tell their audience about these details, and they are very good at it. Twilio, the top of the funnel. Customers who search for the key term Communication APS, for which Twilio ranks high, can easily find Twilio as a possible vendor. Prospects can also find them on social media, on their blog, or through a Twilio learning game that they can play on their own time. Once a prospect sees that Twilio fits their needs, they can either sign up for a free account or ask to talk to a sales representative. Twilio even uses different call to action buttons to help prospects figure out what they want to do next. The not yet ready. The talk to sales button tells potential customers that the company knows they might not be ready to buy yet and is there to help make the process easier. When new users sign up, they either get a free account to start with, which they can later upgrade to a paid one, or they end up in the inbox of a sales rep and wait to be contacted. Middle of the funnel, Twilio. Now that a website visitor has become a lead, the sales rep can use the information from the opt-in form, such as the company name, job title, and product that the lead is interested in, to start a good sales conversation and ask the right questions. Based on what the lead said about specific technologies, categories, and past experiences, the sales rep can add relevant, personalized content to the first conversations that speaks directly to the lead's problems. As they do this and see how their lead responds, they learn more about them and help them move down the funnel. Bottom of the funnel. Last but not least, the lead thinks Twilio could be the answer. But they have questions about how much it will cost, how it will be put into place, and how much it will make them back. Here, pages like customer stories, detailed documentation, and use cases can be very helpful. The better they are, the more they fit with the lead's job and situation. If the sales rep can answer questions and concerns at the bottom of the funnel and explain how the solution fits the lead's problem, it's likely that the lead will become a customer.